Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose x is a real number. Then x is greater than zero if and only if negative x is less than zero. Now, in this series, we are using a list of axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axiom. We have axiom one, which is just the commutative block. Now, axiom five introduces the concept of the negative of a real number. And it says for every real number x, there exists a real number which we call the negative of x that has the property that x plus the negative of x is equal to zero. Now, we have proven at this point that the negative of zero is equal to zero. We've also proven for every real number x, the negative of negative x is equal to x. We also use the concept of the negative of a real number to define subtraction as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. Now, our real number system is equipped with a subset that we call the set of positive real numbers, and it's denoted as r plus. Now, using the set of positive real numbers, our definition of greater than and less than are as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We say a is greater than b if a minus b is a positive real number. We say a is less than b if b is greater than a. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now to start off the proof, we're first going to show that x minus zero is equal to zero minus the negative of x. This is gonna be useful. Now, to show that these two guys are equal, we are going to establish a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be applying axiom one, star, 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 and the definition of subtraction. To start, by definition of subtraction, x minus zero is equal to x plus the negative of zero. But then, by star, the negative zero is equal to zero. So we can replace the negative of zero here with zero. But then, by axiom one, x plus zero is equal to zero plus x. But then, by star star, x is equal to the negative of negative x. So we have this. But then, by definition of subtraction again, 0 plus the negative of negative x is equal to 0 minus the negative of x. So, through this chain of equalities, we have shown that x minus 0 is equal to 0 minus the negative of x. Now remember, the whole goal is to show x is greater than 0 if and only if negative x is less than 0. And to show that that's the case, we are going to be establishing a chain of if and only ifs showing that this is true. And through that chain of if and only ifs, we are going to be applying the definition of greater than and less than, and using the fact that x minus zero is equal to zero minus the negative x. To start, by definition of greater than, to say that x is greater than zero, is equivalent to saying x minus zero is a positive real number. But then, since x minus zero is equal to zero minus the negative x, to say that x minus zero is a positive real number is equivalent to saying zero minus the negative x is a positive real number. But then, by definition of greater than again, to say that zero minus the negative x is a positive real number is equivalent to saying zero is greater than the negative x. But then, by definition of less than, to say that zero is greater than the negative of x is equivalent to saying the negative x is less than zero. So, through this chain of if and only ifs, we have established that x is greater than zero if and only if negative x is less than zero. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. Now, of course, we can also prove that 
negative x is greater than zero if and only if x is less than zero. Now, this fact will immediately follow from this theorem. So again, we're going to establish a chain of if and only ifs, showing that negative x is greater than zero if and only if x is less than zero. And through that chain of if and only ifs, we are going to apply the previous theorem, and we're going to apply star star. Now, by the previous theorem, if we take x to be negative x, then we have negative x is greater than zero if and only if the negative of negative x is less than zero. But according to star star, the negative of negative x is equal to x. So to say that the negative of negative x is less than zero is equivalent to saying x is less than zero. So through this chain of if and only ifs, we have that negative x is greater than zero if and only if x is less than zero. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.